So today we're going to be looking at statistics and we are going to be looking at median and quartiles today. So we're starting to compare sets of data using statistics. So let's look at a first, first example. So example one, we are being asked to calculate the median, lower and upper quartiles of a number set, the number listed here. So we have a list of numbers. We can see that they are in order. And now we can start calculating the median, lower and upper quartiles. First thing we're going to look at is the median. OK, so the median is the middle number within a set of numbers. So if we were to count our numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, that is an odd number, which means the middle number is going to be our median. So it gives us five numbers on this side and five numbers on the other side. So 18 is our median. We're going to call that Q2. So the median Q2 stands for the second quartile, which is 18. We're now going to find the lower and upper quartile. Let's start with the lower quartile, so Q1. And we're only going to focus on the bottom half set of numbers. So we have five numbers here. And we're essentially going to find the median within this set of numbers. So here we've got five numbers, an odd number, meaning the middle number is going to be our quartile one, which is 16. And then our upper quartile, so quartile three, again, we're going to find the median within this upper set of numbers. So 19 is our quartile three. Okay, so can you make sure you've got these copied down and before we move on to the next example. So if you need to pause here, that's fine. OK, let's look at a second example. So again, calculating the median, lower and upper quartiles of these numbers. So here we've got a set of numbers. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But before we do anything, we must ensure that our numbers are put in order. So we need to put these numbers in order, just like this. Okay, make sure you've got all nine numbers written down again to make sure you've not missed anything. But before you calculate any sort of quartiles, the numbers must be in numerical order. So we had nine numbers, which means we've got an odd number. Our middle number is going to be our median. So 47 quartile 2 is our median. And then we're going to work with the lower set of numbers to find our quartile 1. Here you can see that we've only got four numbers. So our median, our middle number here, is going to be somewhere in between these two numbers here. So they both happen to be, to be 43, which works out quite nicely, that the median there is 43. And for the upper quartile, directly in the middle, it's going to be somewhere in between 50 and 51. And directly in the middle of those two numbers, is 50.5. So finding the middle value be between 50 and 51 is fairly straightforward. It's clearly 50.5. But let's say you had um, two bigger numbers and it was quite tricky, like with a bigger gap in between, it's quite tricky to find that middle number. The easiest way to find the middle number is to add them both together and then divide them by 2. So 50 plus 51 is 101 and divided by 2 that's where we get 50.5 from. So if you're ever unsure of what exactly the middle number is, add them both together and divide them by two. Okay, second, uh, third example. Again, calculating the median, lower and upper quartiles. We've got a big list of numbers here. First thing we must do, put them in order. Always make sure your numbers are in order before you do anything. So put them in order. We now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 numbers. So we've got an even number here, which means our median is going to be somewhere in between the middle two numbers. 38 and 38 is going to be 38 in the middle. So that one's straightforward. Now we have to find the lower quartile. So it's going to be somewhere in between the bottom half of the number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, we've got an even number, which means our median for the lower quartile is going to be somewhere in between 36 and 37. So halfway in between them to give us 36.5. Our upper quartile is going to be somewhere in between the 
upper half of the numbers. So between 40 and 41, which gives us 40.5. Okay, so make sure your numbers are in order. And then I would always start um, picking out your quartile 2 first and then using the lower half of the numbers and the upper half to find quartile 1 and quartile 3. Okay, so your turn now. If you can please calculate the median lower and upper quartiles of the numbers below. First, by putting them in order, remember, if you have to find the median which is in between two numbers, you can add them together and divide them by two to find that middle number if needed. So pause here and give these a go. Okay, hopefully you've managed that. Uh, first thing, put the numbers in order. And then we're going to pick out our median which is quartile 1, somewhere in between 50 and 59, which is 58.5. Our quartile 1 is going to be the median of the lower set of numbers. So the middle number, which works out quite nicely, so this is going to be 55. And then our upper quartile, the median of the upper set of numbers, is going to be 66. So well done if you got those.